So in order to add something to a public calendar for other people to be able to see, uh, you first of all need to make sure you have access to that calendar. So if I started off on a web page like this, or a Holman staff page, and clicked on calendars, this will show me all the different calendars that we have in the building. And so if I went to something like rooms and locations, and if I needed to add one of these calendars, I could simply hit the plus Google Calendar button to add this calendar to my calendar list. Once I have that added to my list, now I'm ready to go add events. I only have to do this one time, and once I've subscribed to this calendar, I'll be able to add things to it as long as permissions have been set to allow me to do that uh, at any time. So now if I go to Google and click on the waffle and I go down to calendar, this will show me all of the calendars that I have access to over here on the side. These are the ones that I've subscribed to. Now, if I wanted to add something to a calendar, all I would simply do is click on a date. This window pops up. I would add the date and time, uh, any details that I need. Uh, if I wanted to add any guests, these people will get invited to this calendar. But down here at the bottom, this is the important part. This is where it says the calendar it's gonna go to. So I have access to the Holman Middle School calendar, but I need to be careful if I'm gonna post something. I don't want this to get posted to the whole building. I want this to go to one of my other calendars. So if I wanted to sign up for the picnic tables outside, I would simply choose picnic tables and then put in my name, um, choose the times that it's gonna go to, and then tell it to save. This will then add it to the picnic table calendar uh, to make sure these events are added to it. Now, if I made a mistake and accidentally put it on the wrong calendar, all I have to do is click on it again, hit the pencil to edit, and then again, click on the calendar name, change to whichever other calendar it was supposed to be instead. And then once I've done that, again, tell it to save, and it will update to that other calendar as well.